Hello. In the previous video, I introduced a cheap method for determining confidence limits on averages. When this method is used, we start by estimating the sample mean and sample variance from our experimental results, the xi's, using the expressions shown here. We then note that by the central limit theorem, the distribution of the sample mean is a normal distribution with an expectation equal to the sample mean and a variance that is equal to the sample variance divided by n. Given that we know the distribution for the sample mean, which remember is a random variable, we can thus calculate the pth percentile using the expression shown here. By using this method, we thus avoid the need to resample the mean and we thus reduce the computation or experimental expense considerably. Now, in previous weeks, we have used resampling to estimate error bars on histograms and to generate graphs like the one shown here. A reasonable question that you are perhaps asking yourself is whether or not it is possible to calculate these error bars on histograms using the cheap method based on the central limit theorem that I introduced in the previous video instead of using resampling. It should not surprise you to learn that you can calculate the error bars for histograms in this way. The first step in doing so is to recognise that the height of each of the bars in the histogram is an average that is computed by adding together n Bernoulli random variables. For each bar, the p parameter of the random variable is different, but each bar is an average by adding is an average that is computed by adding Bernoulli random variables together nonetheless. I mention this because suppose we are asked to estimate the mean and variance of a Bernoulli random variable using the formulas that we have just introduced. If xi is a Bernoulli random variable, then xi here will be 1 or 0, and similarly xi squared will also be 1 or 0. The average of the square of the random variable is thus equal to the average of the random variable itself. For a Bernoulli random variable specifically, the expression for the sample variance thus simplifies to the following simple function of the sample mean. With that information in place, we can thus write the code to calculate the error bars on our histogram. This is the code shown here. The first part of this code just calls the function called discrete RV repeatedly to generate our sample of discrete random variables. Then, as we have seen many times by now, we use the numpy array called yvals to count how often each result has come up. At the end of this first block of code, yvals is then normalised by dividing by the number of random variables n that were generated. yvals now contains a set of means computed from multiple Bernoulli random variables. We can thus insert this array into the formula that we arrived at on the previous slide to get the sample variance. This quantity is an estimate for the variance of the Bernoulli random variable, however, and what we want is an estimate for the variance of the sample mean. The quantity in the formula, I should be clear. We get the variance of the sample mean, however, dividing by, by dividing s squared, which is an estimate for the variance of the underlying random variable, by n. This hopefully explains the formula that appears in the square root at the start of this line of Python code.
This line of code is evaluating the array of values for the widths of the error bars that are plotted using the command at the bottom of this block of code. As you hopefully recall from the previous time we used this function, you have to pass the magnitude of the difference between the percentile and the median to this function, which is why the means are not added to the array called errors here. Notice also that last time we used the error bar function, we passed this function two lists, and that here we only pass one. The reason that we passed two arrays last time is because the difference between the lower percentile and the median and the difference between the upper percentile and the median can be different when we do resampling. If we use the central limit theorem, however, the probability density function for the sample mean is assumed to be symmetric, as normal distributions are symmetric. We thus only need to provide one list of widths here. The error bars will still be drawn from the 5th to the 95th percentile and will thus illustrate the 90% confidence limit. One final thing to note is that the width of the error bar should be a positive number. You should thus evaluate the percentile that is greater than 0.5 here in order to ensure that the quantity in the array called errors are positive. Hopefully that should be enough to get you calculating your error bars on the histograms using the central limit theorem. The exercise that follows allows you to try this for yourself. Good luck and as always, thank you for your attention.